Howdy folks, welcome back to Conan Exiles. Today we're going to be at base and we're going to upgrade some uh, some armor, maybe some weapons and stuff. And I've got, uh, got a lot to show off here that I've learned. As you can see, we've got some new friends, so let me get you up to speed. Got this young lady here dancing away. So I've been over uh, getting some thralls, as you can tell. Let me bring up the map. So I've got these marked here. I set up a couple wheels of uh, lesser wheels of pain, and there's a camp here. I think there's a camp here, and a camp here, and a camp here. So I kind of just went back and forth, back and forth, and yeah, I didn't get that one. And I got me some thralls. So we got a tanner two working away. Got an armorer one. So he's making thick hide, because if you have an armorer in your tanner's table, uh, you can turn hide into thick hide. So he's done all that. Might as well pick that up. She's working away. A bunch of leather. Got the entertainer there, of course. So if I ever need to get rid of corruption, she's ready to go. Uh, I found a blacksmith too, so I put him over here. And we're going to talk about that stuff in just a second. And then, of course, we've got our blacksmith working away there. And her fighter. And I did a little more armor dyeing. All my stuff is... Uh, I think it's forest green. But I think I want to upgrade my armor. But also, something else. I thought Purge was disabled in single player. Uh, I was wrong. I hadn't even noticed this down here. <laughs> So we will have to deal with the purge at some point. And that's basically waves of enemies come attack you. So we're going to need uh, more guards. Speaking of guards, uh, you might have seen my YouTube post. Uh, I got Snout killed, unfortunately, the crocodile. I was out leveling him up, went up there on an iron run. And I got surrounded by the ostrich things. And uh, they apparently pack a punch. And he doesn't have much armor. And yeah, he died. So that sucks. I didn't realize pets were permadeath. But now I know. So you can see I've got some heavy padding made. I'll go up here and search. I was thinking about making myself a set of heavy armor. You see, that takes thick leather. Uh, which reminds me, did I grab the thick leather? Nope, I grabbed the thick hide. I've got 23 thick leather. I got, we got to put this over here. <laughs> there you go. Work on that. So it takes a lot of high, thick hide to make the leather. It's like 10 to 1, I think. Something like that. So how much do we have? Oh, I don't even have enough to make that. Okay, never mind. Let's get a shield going. I'm gonna make the uh, the iron targ. Craft that up. And I wasn't sure. I don't think you can see the stats on this stuff. I suppose you could look it up. So I can make one piece. So I was thinking about making the uh, the heavy pauldron. That's probably going to have the most armor. Let's go ahead and get that crafting. We take a look at the shield here, though. The uh, health damage is 18, but the durability is 3,000 versus 1,000 for the wooden. So nice little upgrade there. that here and I went ahead and made myself a steel mace we got 33 damage this thing's a beast and it can do shield smash as well what else have I got um, made a bunch of glass and stuff got the compost heap going making you guessed it compost 
Or if I had this last time. Got the grinder. It's all those uh, horns and fangs and stuff that I don't need. Get turned into bone meal, gets turned into compost. A couple planters up here. And I ran out of aloe seeds, so right now they're just growing the plant fiber. Need to get some more aloe seeds. I was growing aloe up there. And yeah, I got those refilled. Oh yeah, I did the uh, cauldron here, you probably noticed. And I got myself a cook as well. I forgot to show that off. What's that in here? Made myself a stove. And we've got a, a cook one on here. So we can make all kinds of cool stuff now. Uh, I don't actually have any of the stuff I need. Apparently there's a lot of plants around. I think I have salt, actually. And I've got a drying rack. Which right now, you can make dry wood out of branches, which is kind of cool. And we got some dried meat. Hasn't made yet. I think that'll last longer. Can I have some salt somewhere? A bunch of branches. I might as well toss those in there. I kind of wish it would make the meat first. Nope. Wants to make the branches first, so take that out, cancel that, then put the branches in. No! <laughs> okay, fine. Make the dried wood first. I swear I had some salt though. Let me take let me take a quick look in here. We got that. Yeah, here it is. Salt. Yeah, I don't think I have any. Oh, I need to get those going. Was that in one of the cooking recipes? I think maybe it was. So let's throw that in there and that in there. Nope. Oh, feral flesh. I think I was turning that into dried meat. Let's take half of that. Check out this recipe. Oh, so you still have to specifically craft it? Oh, it's already been cooked. Never mind. Anyway, we can make some stuff at some point. We have a cook. Throw that in there. Kind of all over the place today. I think claws. Yeah, those can be turned into bone meal. Let me get him going on these hyena pelts real quick. How you doing on the, on the uh, thick leather? You're getting there. It doesn't go too bad. We should have a new top here, though. So we're just needing the heavy padding. We gotta have 40 for that. So we're getting close. But let's take a look at our new heavy pauldron here. So currently we have the medium harness, which is 59 armor value. It gives us plus 15. That's 140 armor value. That's a big step up. Durability is 430 versus 575. Cool. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. And then these guys have already got the uh, medium stuff that I made for them. So we need another fighter at some point. And I can give them this medium stuff. Put that in there. Alright, so let's talk armor upgrade. Which I don't have in my inventory. So here at the Tinker's Bench, now that I have this blacksmith dude in there, we make stuff quickly. But I went ahead and unlocked uh, quite a bit of knowledge. 
Uh, so I can make these uh, armor flexibility kits, armor reduction kits, stuff like that. And then armor plating to upgrade. So I think that's for steel. Not 100% sure how this stuff works. So let's take a look. Do I just drag it onto here? A kit used to identify and remove superfluous weight from armor. So that weighs 29.77. Can I drag that over there? Ooh, there we go. Oh yeah, cut the weight in like a third. Now can I make it like more flexible too? Set of tools for making armor more pliant and flexible. Oh, you can only do it once. Okay, now we know. I've seen that purple in videos, so that means it's been modified. That increases the strength of armor. Okay, so you can reduce the weight or increase the strength. Or I'm not sure what the more pliant and flexible does. Yeah, you can't modify it more than once. Okay, fair enough. I'll tell you what, we could go ahead and modify this medium stuff. So durability 430, if, what if I do this? Oh, they took the durability down. Oh, but it brought the v armor value up. It increases the strength, but it takes the durability down? Strange. Did I reading that right? Let's try that on the shield. They're easy to make. Durability 1000. Weight 210. Oh, I can't modify shields with it. Okay, well, never mind. I'm pretty sure that went down. That was interesting. Let's try the flexibility kit on something. I think it was kind of cheap to make. Uh, so we got this light turbine here that doesn't really matter. Let's take a look at it. So armor value 6, durability 190, weight 315. What did that change? <laughs> well, I'm not sure. You hide and twine. Excuse me. Voice is a little rough this morning. Oh, did I use up all my hides? Now oh, we got some here. Let's grab like 50 of those. have used up all the seeds. Got seeds around here somewhere. Alright, light turbine craft. I want to look at the stats. Because I completely missed what was going on there. So that made it more flexible. We'll see what that changed. Oh, and I made myself a, a sandstorm breathing mask. That was fairly expensive. Takes uh, 45 steel. Uh, so if we go out on big journeys, I'll probably take that with me so we can survive the sandstorms. I think there's also toxic places that you need that for. I'm saving the horns because I do want to make the uh, the heavy helmet. And it requires horns. Alright. So we have 
Armor value 6, durability 190. All it does is take the durability down. I'm not sure what the uh, advantage there is. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody will know. I might have to go. Might have to go look that up. I'm not sure why you'd want to use the flexibility kit. But it's cool. We were able to uh, reduce the weight and stuff. So that's neat. And I think I'll just keep that stuff right over there. Um, the other thing I wanted to look into was a, a Thrall Pot, I think it's called. And I'm not sure. Can I make that? I see you can not only feed your Thralls, but uh, it preserves food. Feed box. I mean, it's called a feed box. No, that's for animals. Oh, I didn't realize I had a new work table with that. Yeah, I'm not sure where that comes in. It's my grab my hammer. So if we go to companions. Okay, so we could make a feed box for the, uh, like Bob and any other animals we might have. Oh, there it is, Thrall Pot. So 50 iron, 25 branches. So we need branches, wood, and some iron. Let's go ahead and make those real quick. And I've got her working away. Made a bunch of these. I'm thinking. I don't know if it'll be next episode or not. I'm thinking about making like a giant castle over here. With only one way in. Uh, for the inevitable purge. Because uh, I didn't design this for a purge at all. Because I didn't think that was a thing in single player. It was my mistake. Do you like a hundred wood? Oh yeah, I needed branches, didn't I? Somewhere I've got a bunch of branches. There we go. Let's grab a hundred of those real quick. So I'm assuming I can move this, so let me just throw it down here. We can put food in there. And then we want this thrall pot probably down here as well. Down here as well by the well. I don't know how close they have to be. Let's stick it right here for now. And then I assume we just throw food in there. Oh yeah, it lasts way longer. So we need to throw all my extra food in there. There's the seeds I need. Fire water. We'll throw some grass. I had a bunch of gruel. Because I didn't realize how it crafted it, so... I made like 40 bajillion bowls of gruel here. And does a spoiled gruel go in here? I'm not sure if it can use that. We'll try it. While we're here, we'll move the bone meal over. Make some more compost.
This is more for decoration than anything. I've got plenty of grass around and aloe is easy to get. All right, so if I throw that in there, I mean, that doesn't go bad, so not a big deal. Oh, look at that. Uh, I don't, the only thing I have animal wise uh, is Bob and the antelope. Bob, right over here by the feed box, Bob. There you go. And we got Mr. Antelope. Who's got a bunch of rock on him right now. And I don't know what the range on this is. Doesn't really say. Oh, feeding from this. Yeah, there we go. You can see who, who's getting fed. Excellent. All right. So this expires in like an hour. If I throw it in there, it expires in 13 hours. So I made way too much gruel. So yeah, today's episode, we're just kind of doing stuff around the base. There's there's so much to do in this game. I'm loving it. So much to do, so much to learn. Branches in there. I saw I can make purified water at my uh, stove now. Are you back over there? Uh, this stuff's all repaired. How are we looking over here? Oh, it's got the 34 leather. You're working away on hides. Beautiful. I'm going to tell you to make the uh, thick hides from those. You got a little bit more thick leather for me. Thank you. Well, obviously, I could get better thralls at some point for those. Uh, can I make the heavy helmet now? I can. I like it. Get that crafting. And I've got just enough to make the, uh, the skirt. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's a tacit. It's not a skirt. It's a dancer chick. Every once in a while she'll go and she, like, grabs her ankle and jumps through with the other leg. It's pretty impressive. I don't know who did the motion capture for this, but it was a pretty impressive show of athleticism. <laughs> Most of the time she just kind of does that. And what level are you? I've got you up to level five. I took her out and did a little bit of fighting. She's got the uh, the steel daggers there. So, is there anything else I need to build? Uh, also, attributes wise, I've leveled up a few things here and there. Authority's up to eleven. So, I got the commanding presence. I don't remember if I had that in the last video. I've been slowly leveling those up. Uh, oh, craft a tool. I'm getting some XP. And I think I forgot to use my... I didn't realize they reset. I thought I had over a thousand XP. I don't really know how all this works. But I think I lost whatever I had made. So. That's my bad. Still got a little bit of knowledge points available, but I've unlocked a lot of stuff. You can see here the, uh, the Tinker stuff. And uh, some saddles and stuff in preparation for uh, eventually getting a horse. Which we still need to do. Still need to journey over to... I, kn I know I've seen in a video, like, over in this area. There may be other places. Probably head over there at some point. And uh, I have been making liberal use of the markers... Uh, there's a Scorpion 3 Skull over there. I think I mentioned that in the video. Almost got Bob killed. I think I put those down. But I still I haven't explored over here. I mean, there's just so much to do. I really am having a lot of fun with this game. Alright, there we go. Two more pieces of her armor. 
not have have T have V. So we're a little light on the heavy padding. And we're getting low on iron bars as well. Take a look. I did go on an iron run. So let's go throw like let's throw half of those in there. That half in there. So we were a little low on iron because I made all this iron reinforcement that we'll need for uh, for building. I think the only like big gate you have to make out of the reinforced stuff. So from what I can tell, I watched one video on the purge. Um, the purge comes and attacks you. So you could like reinforce your base, I guess, if you didn't want to fight as many of them. But I, I've got a lot to learn about the purge. But all I was thinking it was kind of having like a keep and then a castle just, you know, with sandstone, cheap stuff. But we'll see. So we've got this thing. I want to go ahead and modify it. To get the weight down. We're going to leave it. I remember it took away a little bit of the durability. I kind of like the fact that it would weigh less. It doesn't weigh us down. Let's do it. Yeah, it takes a little bit of durability. Not terrible. There we go. Look at that helmet. Yeah, it looks like we mean business. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, throw you back in there. That's beautiful. <laughs> Get our new skirt too. I like it. You were working away. Almost got the hyena pelts done. So you can start making the uh, thick hide. So it takes uh, twine. So I got to keep a bunch of grass in here. All right, should we uh, should we take the dancer out and get her leveled up a little more, just to kind of close out the video here? You got plenty of food on you. Come with me, young lady. Uh, I've got Bob. Did I show that on the video? Bob's up to level ten. Uh, he got a plus three on the grit there for his perk for level ten. Um, I don't remember, did I show, I don't remember if I showed this or not. It's been a while since I recorded. I got her up to level 10 and she got Vanguard. So plus three on the uh, agility and vitality. So she's becoming quite a good fighter. And uh, of course I was working on getting Snout upgraded and uh, unfortunately he passed. The mace packs a punch. Get him. Get that bleed going. I guess I probably should grab the hides. Not be wasteful. I wonder if my stamina goes down quicker now that I got the heavier armor on. I assume there's trade offs. Oh, I should be grabbing these. Uh... So much to do. So much to do. I should be grabbing these. I need some seeds so we can grow that back at base. Pretty easy to get hide. <laughs> Let's 
Let's go get some of these crocs and hyenas. Probably get a little more XP for those. I mean, these things are on the way, so... Don't look, Bambi. Whee! I'm liking this armor. It's like we mean business. Oops. Kind of completely missed there. Yeah, it looks like my stamina goes down a lot faster. Make sure we don't pull over boss. We don't want Mr. World Boss. Get him. There's a whole bunch of hyenas up here. Always good for leveling. Get some feral flesh too to experiment with those new cooking recipes. Alright, let's go ahead and step in. She gets beat up too bad. Remember when these used to be a challenge? Alright, how you doing on the heels? Oh, you're all healed up again. Nice. There's a little pup. We'll let you go, pup. And we're almost full. I think that's all of them. We got her up to level six. Uh, let me throw those over on you. There's more up here, actually. Yeah, heavy armor does really cut down on your stamina. Y'all seen any hyenas? Where'd she go? Oh, she didn't teleport up here. Never mind, I got it. <laughs> I don't know where she went. Is she running around? Hopefully she's still got XP for that. Where did she go? Oh, there you are. Rough getting chased by hyena. Huh? There, finish him off. mace. These are low level things. Fairly low level anyway. Oh, that's a different colored one. Didn't even look to see if it was like a boss or anything. This mace cuts right through them. 
So yeah, get her leveled up. Uh, there's some thralls over here. Let's let's see what they might have. So just in case, I'm gonna give you the truncheon. See if there might be anything over here worth having. Got an archer. No closer. Oh no, you're just an exile. You're just a tanner one. Already got a tanner two, I think. Uh, we'll take, uh, yeah, we'll take your stuff. Why not? The other one go. Okay. No, which don't know where he went. This guy's got a spear. You're just like, yeah, these guys are really low level. So. Take his food. All right. Well, I think that'll do it for this video. We just got some armor upgrades. Uh, next video, I'm not sure. I don't know how fast the purge meter goes up. So I don't know if I need to like concentrate on getting fighters for that. Or if I could go get a horse. I need to do a little more research on the whole purge thing. And then that'll probably decide on what we need to do next. But still really enjoying the game. There's a ton to do. Barely even explored this little starter area. There's so much to do. So thanks as always for watching. I'll catch you in the next adventure. Cheers. go exile three what are you still doing watching the video's over